Hey guys, in this video, we will solve a question from CSIRnet June 2012. For the following two reactions, the correct statement is In reaction A, this is the product. We can draw the equivalent structure of this reactant. This cyclohexane ring can be drawn in the form of a chair. In case of reaction A, the most stable conformation of cyclohexane is with this group that is the tertiary butyl group on the equatorial position. Since it is above the plane of the paper as given over here, this bromine group is shown above the plane of the paper so I have kept it at the axial position. This carboxylic acid group is again above the plane of the paper so it comes at the equatorial position and the hydrogen group automatically will come below the plane of the paper. This carboxylic group will lose a proton from here. This hydrogen and this bromine group, they are anti-periplanar to each other. So they will undergo the E2 elimination reaction. The carboxylic acid group here will not take part in the reaction, hence it will not be eliminated. The tertiary butoxide group as given in the question will attack this hydrogen and this bond will fall here and this bromine will leave. <music> Leading to the formation of this product, things that we need to note is the carboxylic group is still present in the product. Piece of reaction B, this is the reactant we can draw the equivalent structure that is the chair form of this cyclohexane ring. Again, the tertiary butyl group is given the equatorial position since it is shown above the plane of the paper. The bromine group here is shown above the plane of the paper. Here also I have given it axial position to make it above the plane of the paper. The carboxylic group here is shown below the plane of the paper. Therefore, here I have given it the axial position which shows that it is also below the plane of the paper. In this case, the bromine group which is the leaving group and the carboxylic group are anti-periplanar to each other. So, here the carboxylic group itself will be the leaving. The lone pair of electron from oxygen will fall here. This bond it will break and it will fall here. And the bromine group will leave. Leading to the formation of this product. Here as you have noticed, carbon dioxide is lost, so carboxylic group is no longer here. So option B becomes the right choice because in reaction A the carboxylic group is there, but in reaction B the carboxylic group has vanished, so option B is the right choice.